Hi everyone, today I'll be teaching us how to make this corset top. It's an off shoulder top with um, puff sleeves and um, I added one in to give it some structure. So let's get started with the tutorial. Now previously I've done a tutorial on how to draft a basic bodice. So if you don't know how to do that, you need to go and watch that um, particular tutorial on how to draft a basic bodice pattern and um, it was a half bodice okay so the difference between this and that is that um the other one i did was a half bodice okay but it has the shoulder that the balls that and all of that but for this particular one we're not adding any paper or any, any attachment so we're adding like a longer length now for the front the length of my top is um 22 inches and the back is 20 inches of course the boss that is going to make up for the extra two inches on the front so i'll just mark my two inches to create my boss that if you've watched the busy body tutorial this shouldn't be like it shouldn't be new to you so um now on the front i'll be extending my dart towards the hemline now for this blouse, the blouse doesn't get to the hip line, so which means um, that the last line there is not going to be taking my hip measurements. What you do is you measure where the corset is going to stop. Okay, so for me, um, that was 36. Now before we go in, before we do all of that, okay, let us do the off shoulder. Now you come down by at least four inches depending on how off you want it to be but i'll be coming down by five because for a corset if you know it's too high it will not really be nice then for the neck depth it actually depends on what you want okay how deep you want it to be and all of that so for me i'll be working with 8.5 you know i don't want to reveal like too much cleavage per se so for this neck depth, you could actually vary it it depends on what you want okay now, next thing is to determine um, the bust radius, yeah, and it's very easy to determine. So, to get um, your bust radius, okay, now before I do the bust radius, I want to create my neckline, okay, so I'll just mark three quarter of an inch from my center front, like that. We need to determine the neckline for the off shoulder before we go ahead to the bust radius, okay? So that's like three quarter of an inch. You can do like one inch if you want to. Then with my curved ruler, I'll be creating the neckline I want. So I'll, I'm drawing the neckline up to this point here. So even if you're not doing a corset, this is like an off shoulder already, but we're doing a corset here. Now let's go to the um, bust radius I was talking about. Now your bust radius is the distance from your bust point, okay, to your under bust measurement. So when you're taking this measurement, you have to be very careful. So mine is three. Now I'll just mark um, my three inches there, okay. So yours can be three point five. Yours can be four. It depends on the size of your bust, okay. Now, I'm just going to mark my three inches. Then with my curve driller, I'll be connecting uh, my under busts to that point and back to the neckline for the off shoulder. Okay, like this. So just blend up here, like that. Then on this other side of the bodice, I'll still mark my bust radius, which is three. Then I'll add half inch. So if yours is 3.5, you add half inch. Whatever your bust radius, you just add half inch because that side of the bust is always fuller than the center. Okay, then I'll just blend this up to the, my ammo like that. Okay, so here. Now the cup looks high like that because this is an off shoulder top. If it was just a pure corset, you know, the curve will go blend towards the armhole. So I just hope I'm making sense to us. <laughs> yeah. Then we need to do what we call contouring on this line here. So that your cup can sit well. You know, even if it's not a corset, even if it's an off shoulder, you know, you, you mark half inch on both sides of that line that divides the shoulder line. Okay. Then you're going to connect that line back to one inch before your bust points. 
okay yeah so even if it's a regular off shoulder boosting you should do this so that when you even if you bend down you know your boss is not or the dress is not falling off and all that so that's it's culturing or blending or contouring just call it whatever so also cutting out this part here okay so i think we are almost done with the front pattern yeah i think so nothing more much to do again so here let's work on the back so for the back it's still the same thing the basic body pattern i talked about the only difference is that this is longer so like i said on the hemline there okay now okay let's do the neck depth for the um, back so for the armhole i will also be coming down by five inch the same thing i came down with in the front for yours you can make it you know you can come lower as six or seven depends then for the neck depth at the back you can go as low as the chest line okay but before you do that you want to come in by half inch on the armhole there and then reshape the armhole. You can see what I did there. I came in by half an inch and I reshaped it. So for the neck depth, you can do as low as the neck, your chest line. You can go below that. But let me just do six inch. Let me not reveal too much. So I'm just going to connect like that. So this is going to be my neckline for the back. Okay. Then I'm just going to add my zipper allowance to that. While just modifying the basic body pattern. Okay. So this is my zipper. I'm just blending up. Then um, what else? Yeah. Um, like I said, on this hemline here, I'm not marking quarter of my hip. You have to measure where the corset will stop because the corset didn't get to the hip line. So for me, I got nine. Okay, that's sorry, 36. So quarter should be nine. Then one in for side seam allowance. And my dart didn't get to the hip line. So then, then on, on that line i'm marking quarter of my waist circumference plus one inch for that one inch for side seam allowance then here is quarter of my boss plus one inch for side seam allowance okay and um yes yeah, the same thing for the front so i'm just gonna link that like that okay we don't need the upper part there then i'll extend my that leg okay then for the front i didn't talk about what i did on the chest line i marked quarter of my bust plus one inch for side seam allowance on the waistline, I marked quarter of my waist circumference and I added two inches because of um, the darts there. Okay. And then the hemline quarter, which is nine. Okay. And one for size seam allowance. Yeah. Quarter of not the hip, but where the corsets will be stopping actually. Now I've separated my front and back. So I'll be drawing my green lines like that. And then I would be cutting out. Okay, so just before I got to the boss start there, I had to fold the boss that and do my trimming. Okay, so I'll just fold the boss that. Then after folding, you can see that my line is not straight again. So I have to blend this up back to the armhole there. So um, I'll be using my rulers to do that. If you have watched the basic body tutorial, this should be like a revision. Okay, so I'm just trying to blend up my boss that. Okay, yeah, I believe you can see what I'm about to do now. So there, I'm blending up like that. Okay, so I will continue my cutting. Then I also forgot one detail. After you um, fold the boss that, okay, the curve on the other side of the cup will shift because of the boss that. So what you just do is you're going to use your um, either French curve or any curve driller to blend back, okay? I know we might not see that, but by the time you draft your pattern, you see what I'm talking about. So you need to blend it back. There's, there's a slight shift because of the boss that. Okay, so now that I've um, also blended up that part there, I will continue my cutting. Then I'll cut into the armhole and trim off the part that we did not need. So I'll just cut through the um, neckline. Then when you get to this part here, okay, 
and we'll just blend up here into like a curve instead of just having a very sharp edge there so after blending like that i would now cut i'll be cutting out the unwanted parts on my pattern like that so the next thing i will cut out the um ways that the contoured parts okay and i'll show us okay so this is where you're going to be having after cutting like this the next thing um with my masking tape i'll be closing up my balls that okay i've closed it then i would be separating my cups so before i do that you can create as many boning lines as possible already this is one boning line here you have another one on the center front then you can create more but i don't want too many boning lines because um it's one hell of a job so i'll just create one more boning line here and draw it down okay then i'll label my pattern so this is f1 this is f2 and f3 all right so i would cut out my cups now okay and then the second cup and um i will separate f2 and f3 so here we are so everything you're seeing here we're going to be cutting two two pieces each on fabric and two on lining two okay so for the back it's pretty simple we just cut out the unwanted parts and then um, separate the back okay so for the back you can also add one more additional boning line okay so this is b1 for the additional bone and bone line you could just draw one more line like i said you can have as many boning lines as possible but just be ready to work okay so make sure you draw the lines to show the direction of the green line now i've transferred all my patterns to my fabric like i said everything here is double including the lining so i have two pieces of fabric two pieces of lining for each of the pattern here okay and my center front is on fold so i added half inch round same thing here for my f3 i have side seam allowance already so there was no need for allowance but i added half inch round same thing for my b3 i have side seam allowance already but i added half inch to other parts same thing for my b2 half inch round for my b1 we have zip allowance already so just the other side will be adding half inch okay very simple same thing for my cups okay two pieces of fabric eight and two pieces of lining it's like very very easy so and then these are my bra foam comes in different sizes and this is my boning so we're gonna start with the sewing tutorial immediately we'll be starting with the front so for my front these are all my front pieces i'll go ahead and join all the space with half inch seam allowance so let me do that Okay, so I've joined my front piece together. Make sure you iron, open the seam allowance flat like this and iron in, out. And the same process will be done on the lining, okay? Then for the back, I don't need to start explaining to us again. It's the same process. Join all the pieces together, but don't join the center back because of the zipper. Okay, so this is my center back here. Same thing. My lining and the lining for the other piece, okay? All right, so next step, we'll be joining front and back together at the sides. So um, this is my front piece. Okay, I'll be joining the two back pieces together at the side. Same, one inch all the way down. Same thing here, one inch, um, seam allowance all the way down. Yeah, so I'll be stitching that one inch all the way down. Okay, so I've done same process for my lining too. Okay, make sure you iron every step of the way. It's very important. It makes your work very neat. Then these are my cups. Same thing. I'll be separating my cups now. This is C1, C2. You have to be very careful. Don't mix them up. Even though the armhole should be like a guide for you. So it shouldn't be very difficult. So this is C1. Okay, and then C2. I'm taking up my pins and um, this is it too. So the same process of the lining. I'll be joining this with half an inch. Um, same allowance. Make sure you pin. Yeah. Okay, so I'm done sewing my cups here. And then this is the corresponding lining. 
and these are my bra cups that will be attaching to the um, cups you know so um this is my fabric and i want to be showing us how you can attach your boning to create your bone casing and um there are several ways of creating bone casing okay but we're doing one of the several ways okay so i've attached the bone casing to like almost all the lines except for the side seam that's in case you have any adjustment, it can, you can easily adjust it. But I left one boning line that I'll be using to explain to us how I did the rest. It's the same process. So what you do is you're going to be getting your boning, regular boning. You leave about one inch seam allowance from the main fabric all the way down. You should also leave half, and sorry, one inch allowance before the hemline. So this is your seam allowance. Okay, make sure your seam allowance is half an inch. Okay, then you determine the direction you want it to face. Okay, so you place the boning under the seam allowance like this. Leave one inch, okay, and then you will stitch um, the seam allowance down on the boning, like one um, one eighth of an inch, like close to the edge. So you stitch it down. Meanwhile, the boning is sewable, so you know you you, won't, you don't need to worry if your needles will break and all of that. So it's gonna sew on the machine. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. One of the major reasons for the boning is to give the top structure. Okay. All right, so let's go to the next step. This is the boning, like I talked about. It's sewable. It's originally boning. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go to the fixing of the cups. Like it's very simple. So what you do is um you take one piece of the um, bra cup okay that's a fabric you place it on the cup like i said there's various sizes in the market so you place the fabric like that then make sure you notch the um, way you have the joining okay it's very important you place the um the cup inside the fabric like this and then you pin it down yeah, so after pinning down, it's going to look like this. Okay, so make sure the crop doesn't touch the upper part and the lower part. That's the same allowance. But it should touch um, the sides here and here. Okay, so that is going to be your point of you know attaching it down to the fabric. You understand? So this is how the bra crop will look like. So next step is to locate the midpoint where you had the... Um, um, waist that yeah the first boning line here so you get your pin and then pin it point to point where you have the joining on the bra cup and the joining on the fabric on the bodice itself so you're going to pin it together and i advise you start sewing from that point towards the left okay and then when you finish with the left you start sewing again towards the right it's better Okay, so you also pin um, this top part here, here, and the other side. So like I said, it's advisable to you, for you to start from the middle to the left, middle to the right, that way. Okay, so I'll go ahead and attach it. Now, this is my already fixed um, bra cup for both sides. It's really simple. Then I already fixed the bra cuffs for the lining too, but that one doesn't carry any um, form of um, padding or anything. Now I will place my lining on the fabric and I'll go ahead to turn the neckline for the front and the back too. Okay, so after turning the front, this is what I'm going to be having here. This is it. And make sure you top stitch, very important. Now I will be reducing my lining by half inch or one inch, okay? So that after turning, you don't have your lining stick it out, you know? So you just fold and reduce the lining by half an inch or one inch. Okay, so now that I've reduced my lining, I'll be turning the hemline of my blouse, okay? I'm yet to turn the back neckline. I'll do that now. Okay, so this is my blouse. I've turned the back neckline already. 
okay and of course the hemline like i said press every step of the way it's very very important now we'll be cutting out the sleeve so for the sleeve um you fold your ankara fabric into two like this ankara length is 45 so divided by two that's like 22 and a half yeah then i'm actually working with the remaining part of my fabric yeah i hope it's enough then i'll fold you know into two again so this way i'm cutting both sleeves together all right so after folding i will turn my fabric because the folded part is going to be where i'll be like marking my measurement and all that so it's an off sleeve okay so um i'll first of all mark four inch okay so this would be my cap line then um for the top part the top here i'll be marking about 10 inches don't forget i turn fold so that's 10 inches then on the second line here i'll be marking about 15 inches this will work for almost everybody yeah and then i'll be marking 15 inches here too I don't want to be going into any detailed calculation for sleeves. I was trying to do something that work for like almost every size. Okay, so I'm just linking this down like this. Then um, I will now draw the curve of the armhole like that. But before I do that, okay, we're supposed to mark one inch from the top like this. Okay, uh, let me draw my line well. This is like about one inch. Then I'll square it up. So this one inch is going to be um, for creating casing for our elastic, okay? And then, um, yeah, that's it. So this is for the elastic casing. All right, so I'll go ahead and cut out and I'll show us how I made the sleeves. So first step, first step is for the top part here. Okay, I'm trying to separate the sleeves, you know, we cut the two together, so I'm trying to separate it. Yeah, so I'll work with one sleeve first. You fold the sleeve into two like this, then you sew one inch like that to the top part. Then, um, for the sleeve earlier, you fold half inch twice. This will form a casing for our elastic. Okay, so I've done that already. This is it. I've sold my one inch here. So um, what you do is you're going to get an elastic. The length should be about um, seven inches. Very plus size, you can do eight, maximum nine, but seven is fine. So I'll put this in an, um, I'll use my safety pin to pass the elastic through the elastic casing. So I'll just pass it on this side gently. Okay, just pass it gently. Be careful not to allow this other end to get into the casing. So um, once the elastic gets to the beginning point here, I'll go ahead and stitch it down with my sewing machine. So after stitching it down, I'll keep passing the elastic with my safety pin. Meanwhile, I have secured the elastic on one side of the sleeve. Okay. So I'll just keep passing it. You can see that on this side is already secured. I'll keep passing the elastic with my safety pin. Then I'll bring it out on this other side here. Then I'll go ahead and stitch it down. Okay, so after stitching it down, this is what you're going to be having here. It's very simple. Then we go to the um, sleeve opening here, the lower part you roll half inch twice and stitch it down then you leave about one inch opening here you know wide enough for your safety pin to pass through next thing you'll be cutting out an elastic the elastic should be able to go around your wrist like this okay so i'll use my safety pin to pass the elastic through the um, elastic casing okay so i'll just pass it around once I pass it around, I'll, you know, stitch down the two ends of my elastic like this. I'll stitch it down, okay, then cut off any excess and then pull it out like this. And then I'll go ahead and close the one inch opening I left there. Now let's come back to our blouse. For the blouse, this is it. It's almost ready. 
I'll go ahead and fix my zipper and I'll be using a seamless finishing method to do that okay so here I've already fixed my zipper on the um, corset now I'm going to be fixing my sleeve so to fix the sleeve it's even very easy okay so you pick you pick um, one side of your off shoulder sleeve like this right side facing right side okay so I'll just pick one side I'll pin it down to um, one edge of my um, bodies or, be or better still you can pin it armhole to armhole that is the joining on the sleeve and the joining on the side seam you pin it there okay then um, you pin one edge of the sleeve to the back and the other edge to the front neckline and definitely you're going to be having an excess so you just do like a pleat so um this is the final outcome of the corset top it's so beautiful like so beautiful and very easy to make so um, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up leave your comment and reaction share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe thank you so much bye